Thanks for logging on to House of Chappelle TV. I am Rico Chappelle, CEO of the legendary House of Chappelle. In the past 20 years, I've been traveling all over the world with my clients such as Tony Braxton, Candy Bird, Kelly Rowland, and a list of celebrities that I can't even count. And now I'm about to share the secret with you on a web series I call So Like a Pro. Each week I'll teach you a tutorial on a step-by-step -step rule of how I make anything from a fabulous evening gown to home decor and furnishings. All on a dime. This is So Like a Pro. Thanks for logging on to www.youtube.com forward slash House of Chappelle TV and I am your host Rico Chappelle and you just logged on to another episode of So Like a Pro and today's guest is Caleb. Caleb Anthony. Uh, Caleb is like what we would consider a socialite. Um, he pretty much got noted for Instagram with him and his family his ex-boyfriend at the time and his kids doing hair, getting them ready for school, and it went absolutely viral. You had this one big happy family, yes. and next thing you know, I looked on Instagram. <laughs> I said, oh, she's available. Let me slide my old new picture in his DM now. I'm just joking. No, it's still, still a big happy family. It's still yeah. nothing but love. OK, 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 yeah. cool. And one day on uh, Instagram, you know, I was just searching for, you know, people that would possibly be, do the So Like a Pro video with me to be a guest host. I just ran into his page and I thought he was absolutely hilarious. And I just slid, in, slid his DM. Because <laughs> it was a lot of kids. It was like eight or nine of them, right? <laughs> what? It was like... It was four kids. And then we ended up having a baby. So it came out to be five. Oh, yeah. baby. I bet that food stamp voucher was... Big, wish. honey. <laughs> no wig, no food stamp bachelor, no, no none of that. Wig, no food stamps, no oh wow. Um, and so now you're single. I'm single, and it's just me and the baby. What happened to the other kids? Well, they're with their mom and they're with their father. Were y'all married? Mm -mm, we were never married. So y'all was together how many years? Seven. But you know, in gay years, that's like a million. Exactly. So, million. so technically, y'all was really married. Yeah, uh, we were engaged. Oh, yeah, we were engaged. I mean, but it's all like it's like I said, it's all love. It's all great things. I mean, I wish nothing but the best for him. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's that's and good. And he wishes the best for me. We just we both weren't happy with one another, so we decided to go. So so how is dating? Dating is great. I mean, you know, I'm at a point in my life where I can know who I want to be with and what I will to right. stand for and what I won't stand for. It's getting to kind of know me better than knowing the next person. That Ooh, makes sense. it makes very when much you're sense. Dating someone, you know what you like. I said, will stand for and what you won't stand for, and what right. attributes you like in someone and what you don't like. Right. And you don't have, you don't feel obligated to any particular. Right. You're person. gonna, you either gonna take the fist yeah. or you ain't gonna take and the I fist. And I think you have to be mature. Um, you didn't catch that, did you? You either gonna catch, take the fist or you ain't gonna catch. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I mean, I will hear things and keep going. <laughs> with it. Right. I heard the fist. All right. Though. Very, very, yeah. very corporate. Uh, very corporate. Yeah. Yeah. So in today's episode, I am wearing this blazer. Um, a lot of men have problems with actually getting suits off the rack, custom tailored and fitted to the body. I'm one of those guys. I'm going to show you how to take this up. Now, please know I don't know how to do anything. So, but I'm going to teach you. Okay. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you how to Ooh. sew like a pro. Like, right. you know. Sew like a and, pro. And hashtag sew like a pro. Exactly. Yeah. Hashtag sew like a pro. Fellas, get you an inexpensive sewing machine, get you some pins. In this project, we're only needing... How much does a sewing machine usually run? This is like $69.99. Um, you guys can go to the link in the uh, bottom of the video and, and order you one on Amazon. Um, and you need some snips. Uh, or you can use a seam ripper or a razor blade. $700. I'm the guy that'll be like, yo, can you tailor this? Can you fit this? I want this a little snug. Can you and then but, write on it? The but after today, you probably would never take another uh, blazer. blazer to the um, alteration. Oh. You know, like you said, when I first walked in here, okay, you got a little thick wit. Yeah, like, baby, oh, thick oh, wit oh, it. Oh, thick oh, wit oh, it. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, it's, it's happy weight. Mm, thick thighs, chinky eyes. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, you're going to need some pins, some snippers. A needle, glass of wine, and a red cup of beer. Mm -hmm. mm. 
That's so like Trey. That's some Q type shit though. That's that's some Q shit, right? I mentioned Q. You remember Omega Sci Fi, nineteen eleven. That's I'm very unfortunate. But Whoa, I pause, am. Pause, I'm not gonna let that slide. Yeah, it's very unfortunate because I remember of the the other the real nineteen eleven, which is Cap Alpha Psi Fraternity I mean, Incorporated. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So okay, okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, and so, but I will say I I do. Um, I love Omega. But um, I did a video in um, last year about being an openly gay Kappa. And, uh, and it's no uh, secret that you were married. You are. Well, I was never married. <laughs> in my head, you was married. Well, I mean, in a lot of people, in yeah. the eyes of a lot of people that I was married, and it, it kind of went around social media that he and I were married, but we were never right. married. Right. And um, but you you were pretty much within a long term relationship with another guy and had kids and had this amazing family and was all it was on actually television. That picture that remember when we were at uh, your Halloween party? Mm -hmm. I actually met Caleb and his um, boy boyfriend at the time at my Halloween party. At that time, I was dating someone and he was dating someone, and there was nothing there. I think he won my sexiest Halloween costume contest. Um, and when, after the party, when Funky Dineva did a blog post um, about him being a gay Q because you could see like all his tattoos and all that good stuff. Okay. And uh, it was like, we seen your picture and you were at some Halloween party. It was a gay function and Quad was there. And I was like, but but the funny part is they know all this though. I was like, how do you know this shit? Right. And I was like, I said, you can't Google anywhere where my name is actually spelled correctly. Right, right. Like, you, what you been, what you, what right, you right. been watching? So I did a video being an openly gay Kappa, and it's so funny the response that I got from the initial fraternity overall. I would say 95% of the bros hit me up and was just like, the video was good. It was very informative. We love how you said if you're going to come to fraternity, we need you to act accordingly well, versus. Because, and I don't mean to cut you off. When you are a part of an organization, you represent that organization. Exactly. You have to stand upon those principles that that organization is instilled in right. you. So I, I, I definitely agree with what but you're saying. That, but then, but my 5%. There, but there, there's always going to be a select few who do not agree with what you do in anything. Else. Right, right, you right. Gay, straight, bisexual, trans, whatever, whatever your pleasure is. Right. But that's not going to take away from the organization that I'm a part of. I have a lot of members that fully support me, that are some of my best friends right. to this day. And have always been like that. And some of my line brothers, there are some of my line brothers that don't particularly care for what I'm doing or how I've done it or the lifestyle that I live. But then there are some that will probably be at my wedding on my line as a groomsman. You know, all of today. all of my line brothers. I already told them. I said, y'all, you know, all y'all will be at my wedding. But my line brothers love me to death. Now, some members of my chapter, baby, they it's a like 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 right now it's a witch hunt in my chapter to find out who's all that's gay. And when I and say try to out no everybody, what organization you in, whether it be Greek or whether it be the organization, the links, of any, anything, anything that you're a part of, where there are a group of different individuals, someone in that group is going to be gay. Period. Right, 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 that's right. Just how, that's just how life has transformed us. That's just today's time. Not only is homophobia in the black community, but it's even worse in the um, for the divine nine. Um, it's definitely. Uh, homophobia in there. Uh, but some that you that people have to realize it's it's we're everywhere. It's like we're roaches. You can't kill us. We're not going nowhere. You you can't try to kill us all. If somebody gonna surface up and be like, hey, you know I suck dick. Okay, so let's move this over here because you're gonna have to pin me. Okay, so so what you're gonna do, you're gonna go down the back and kind of squeeze straight, straight down. Forward. And sometimes you can pin here, but since we have double vents and double these vents, vents, these are vents, and yeah. vents are good for brothers with a little Your derriere. Your eyes are so pretty. I wish I had like some light brown Thank eyes. you, but like, you... Like giving your whole Beyonce when you look into the eyes. Well, you cute too. I'm cute. Yeah, you cute. cute. Yeah, you cute. Like... Yeah, you cute. <laughs> you cute. Caleb is a cute guy, so um, he's very attractive. He's very gorgeous. We're going to see if he going... Uh, catch this bait about him going to the gentleman's ball with me. <laughs> you know, regardless of how, you know, they, they talk about you on the internet, you cute. <laughs> so you pretty much are going to pin and make sure it's smooth and pin down this seam. Let me take the jacket off to kind of show you an example. So yeah, you won't. I don't know what to do. Yeah. So like if this jacket was on me, All right. 
in the middle of the seam, you're going to take and slightly pinch it, and you're just going to make it tighter, and you're just going to go all the way down. And for me, I have more of a, a arch in my back. Like you don't have, I got, I got an arch. you got a slight little arch right look, here. Look at that arch. But, like, oh, yes, put a, put a hump in the back and lift your rump. So, but like my arch starts here. So I'm going to have more fabric than a uh, majority of men. Okay. So, okay. So what we're going to do now, you're going to pin me. Um, what I say, is he my type? I really don't necessarily have a type, but I can put him on a list that he is a cute one that I will, I don't know, make it work with. Okay, a, little, a little bit more tighter. I'll tell you if it's too tight. I feel like the pins are coming out, though. Is that supposed to happen? You know, you got to go in and out like a fish hook. Did your father ever take you fishing when you was little? Yeah, I Believe it or not, man. My, my, my dad is from Texas. Fish or catfish? I heard how y'all do in Atlanta on them, on them sites. <laughs> With other people's fitches. I'm definitely not a catfish. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, y'all, so you one of those. Look, Better. See, when, as you move, they come. Oh, and hey, you me. stuck me. I'm, I'm, I'm poking you. Mm -mm. Okay, wait. That didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I made a mark where I want to be. We'll say that with the pants. So, uh, oh, let me see, let me see what the hell your ass is doing because yeah. you can't fit the damn jacket. Look, let me, let me just drink. <laughs> Look, okay, you have show to. Show everybody. No. Okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this is. Totally wrong so right here. Oh, this do. is not what you're supposed to do. Okay, so pretty much what you're going to do, you're going to sandwich. Let's take these out. I have a mental note of where you put them. All right. You're going to pinch the jacket such as this. Yeah, but how do you keep the pants in there? You go in and out. Oh, I was going straight across. And don't you got an uh, engineering degree? I do, but okay. look, but look. Okay, now, I know what all that consists of. You know I Oh, but you oh, it's from Jackson State. Oh, That's oh, why. Tennessee oh, State yes, University. right, right. right. Oh, In the, the Jackson State University. The Jackson Tennessee State oh, University. Oh, oh, oh. And you a Q. So you really weren't doing the work any goddamn way. You had, I actually got a BS in computer engineering and a minor in math. Well, okay, I'm I have a little smart. Okay, I have my minor is in math too. So it's it's what? Okay. I, so I could read you right now, but I'm not gonna read you. I'm gonna keep it cute for Okay. 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 Well, how about how about if keep, I was graduation? Go, great, great, because I made it out. Um, but how about if you keep it cute with these pins? Okay. Okay. I didn't know that I was going out and coming in on the same side. Mm, you was going. You already out, and I know it's hard for you to come back in. But just. It ain't hard. I can, I can go in and come back in. I ain't got no problem finding a hole. Okay. Oh, 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 really? That's what they say. That's what they say. Okay. That's what I'm sure. What a lot of people want to know. Because I, I, I can't see your... What's my sexual preference? Yeah, what's your sexual preference? Uh, I'm a gay boy. Oh, I like that. So that means the sky's the limit, ladies and gentlemen. The sky's the limit. Have you ever been with a woman? Yeah, I have a baby. Well, that don't mean you be with a woman because I'm having test two babies. Well, and I told you how to go about doing that. The easiest way to have a child is have sex. Uh, uh, it's something about that unprotectedness. I'm sexually, I'm, I'm sexually fluid. I like to have sex with whatever I'm attracted to. Okay, I do. I agree with you on that. I agree, because it, it flips people's head when I say that, like. I don't want nobody to kick my ass with what I'm saying. You edit this part out, whatever you want to say. So right. Excuse me, Nikki. Okay. Oh, you're good. Um, damn. I lost my track, but I really didn't lose it. Because you got down there to the yeah, ass I'm part, and you lost your train of thought. <laughs> no, I mean, Monday, Monday I might want dick, Tuesday I might want ass. And okay. Wednesday I might want to just chill and get some head. And you just never know. That's good enough. I feel like I got it good enough. Is it tight? Okay, it worked. Oh, it, it, it worked, so it's not tight? Sweet girl? Yeah. Hmm? I said, is it tight? Mine, yeah. Is it really tight? Yeah, you want to no. try? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now since he has me pinned, you see? And so if you're by yourself, you can just kind of pin your jacket and put it on to see how it fits oh, and how, how it feels and all that good stuff. But it feels, it feels decent. So now... And so what I'm doing, I'm 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 putting a little bit more uh, tightness. You need more girth. <laughs> I have a lot of girth <laughs> and length. So what you're going to do now is you're going to split the seam up. 
So I actually have to cut it? You're going to have to cut it. And the seam, when you say the seam, that's the line. Yes, that's the line. All right. right. I'm going to start you off. So I like to start in the middle of the jacket and just find it, open it just a little bit. Like you can pull it. Like when you stretch your clothes, like when you see a big girl and their clothes be too tight and you see them little shreds be holding together, just be fighting. Right. So you just take it and you just it cut. You gotta be a big girl because them, them, them threads then, then kind of been tight with me too. They what, been fighting for Well, their that t-shirt is fighting for their oh. life. <laughs> oh. 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 Now come on, I'm a hole while you cut. Look, my hand's kind of big, you know, I ain't got steady hands. Okay, well. I'm ambidextrous though, I can use left hand, right hand, you know Well, that's saying? fine. But big hands don't mean nothing these days and you know that because you all have right what hand. Chinese. You got that in your bloodline, and you know what they working with. Absolutely nothing. That is not true. Hold Absolutely nothing. That is not true. That's, that's not true. Because I didn't came across some, some, some very blessed Koreans. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Well, you international hoe. More, 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 more blessed than some of these. So, so, let me show you, so let me show you how you cut this. Because you're like pulling and tucking. You just cut. You open, <laughs> you open the hole, and you snip. At that. And so what I'm doing, I'm holding it open for you to kind of make it go a little quicker. I go all the way up? Into the top of the pan. God, damn, mm -hmm. this shit get tiring. Well, it's patience and it's gonna save you a lot of money because you know, you on a budget, you, 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 um. You know, I got a, a million kids, like you say I got eight, nine kids. Right, and you know, them wig vouchers be playing out and, <laughs> and on food stamp cards, you know, Trump in office, he trying to get rid of all that. Mm -hmm. He's trying to send me back to Korea. Right. Your arm is so hairy. I am a man, Damon. I know that. I am a boy, Damon. You, are, you know, you're a grown ass man because you got a whole lot of kids. Mm -hmm. You got more kids than my daddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, your turn. <laughs> okay, so, mm, done. So you do, I see, I can't do it that fast. Uh, but, it would have taken me another 30 minutes. To but do practice that. makes perfect, okay. That's true. So once we have done it, I take the pins and put them all on one side to keep the markers. It's, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the lining since you already did the outside of the jacket. And actually, the lining is really, really oh, easy. Nice. Yeah. So that's the inside of the jacket. Yeah, the inside of the jacket. I'm gonna go ahead and do. And for the inside of the jacket, I just really like to do a small little hole. So we show them what the lining is. Yeah, this is the lining here and then we're just going to do a small little hole oh. to go in the inside we're not going to take it all the way down just so we can pull it through like almost like a pillowcase okay so now once that just is done pull, pull what through a pillowcase like the whole jacket i'm opening it up i'm opening it for you because your hands are a lot bigger than so mine that's a big hole well, they said that's oh, what you have. Get, oh. <laughs> they said that's what you have, a big hole. Okay. Big holes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, when I style a male client, to be honest, I dress a male client, especially in formal wear or in twos, of how I like to dress. I like it clean. I love a really, really tailored suit. That is my signature. Even if you are a bigger guy, we still could slim that suit up in the back and still make it look like we can take an inexpensive suit and make it look like a million bucks. And that's what we're going to do today. And I'm showing you this because we're only doing one jacket. I'm showing you this because this is kind of really simple and easy. But I'm going to have you. I'm going to put the pins in this place and then you're going to sew it up. So pretty much the pins that you pin from the outside where the markers are, we're going to move them to the... <clears throat> fabric and I'm moving them into the side that closer to me because when you're sewing on a sewing machine you want to have all the excess fabric to your left because how the machine is designed you have uh, no little situation computerized system on the right uh, on the left side so all of the fabric has to be on the um, left side so I'm taking the pins out and moving them and you guys you you guys can use chalk or you can use a fabric marker. But sometimes when you're using those um, and you're pressing your clothes, sometimes that chalk doesn't come out. So I just like to use pins to be exactly. right. How did you get into this? Because this, this is like hair to me. Hair is so confusing. Like how people 
you know, pick up the craft to do hair mm -hmm. and like, do those lace fronts like a lot of people do? Well, okay, so I see you will understand when I tell you this because I started out school as an architecture engineering major. Right. And so, you know, in engineering, we do a lot of critical thinking of how we can do things a lot quicker, a lot affordable. And um, my mom was a designer, my grandmother and my great grandmother, so I'm fourth generation. And so pretty much I took in home economics, I took a class back in eighth grade. Um, but then when um, I got to TSU and then I started engaging with the same sex, um, I just- you Started early. No, I didn't. I actually, I started, I started around the same time too. Uh, yeah, I started late. That's why I was still dealing with women. My freshman year it was my first experience. My, it wasn't until my junior year. Oh wow. Yeah, and, it, just, and I'm best friends with the person that I started with. R really? Well, we didn't have sex. It was just a little. Fellatio, yeah, that's how I was, and I was like, please don't say nothing to me on campus, please, thank you. <laughs> right, right, and they tried to out me in, in, a, in the whole you know, because I was Kappa. I was. Well, this was before I pledged. Did, I didn't cross until 2009. Really? Yeah. So did you do grad chapter? No. Okay, because okay, I was going yeah, to say, cause to are you cat? Look. <laughs> I got to college in 2000. Oh wow. Okay, but I forgot you are a youngin. Younger than you. Way. Way younger. Way. Like, a whole generation. But more experienced. <laughs> <laughs> Way more experience. Okay, so I pinned it. Bring this machine over. It's already threaded. So, okay, we're going to put it on the proper setting, which is I always tell all of my, my guests out there learning how to sew. I love to sew on a number eight when it comes to this brother machine. Um, you, because the stitches don't be too loose and they don't be too tight. It just be just, it just. Have you ever thought about doing Project Runway? Uh, you know what? I did a fashion show 10 years ago. They, um... Because you're not a soul. You know, a lot of people don't um, a But you... Uh, I'm a little bit too much for Project Runway. I tried out seven times, baby, I'm going to tell you. And then Michael Knight, rest his soul, that last casting that I did, he was like, girl, I don't see it for you, so... I paid it. And still, trust me, I'm doing way better than most of them girls on Project Runway. So, okay, so pretty much you're going to press... The needle is already down. You're going to follow this invisible line with the pins. And Where, uh, what invisible line? This right here, this line with the pins. And as you follow, as you sew, you're going to stop and you're going to remove the pins. Okay. You're going to remove the pins. Oh, shit, I want to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm, just, show, I'm just showing you, so just pay attention because, you know, paying attention is very fundamental. You know, Jackson State. Yeah. Okay, now go ahead and make sure you keep the fabric really tight and you sew down to here and you remove the pen. You said paying attention is very fundamental. Just like reading. Right. You still use the wrong context. Okay, Ooh, well, we'll talk about okay, that. well that's fine. All right, so look. What? Well, I've been out of school for 20 years. You've only been out of school for 10. Just give me football and hot wings. Okay, pause, oh, stop, shit, take mama, the pen. Look at me, I'm sewing. Yeah, you're doing a really good job. Baby, them fingernails are buff, honey. Child, you are but, trying to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> them fingernails are buff, baby. Oh. When I mean to tell I you. My, look, look, I got my little first manicure <laughs> yeah. the other day. Right, when I told him he was going to be on the show, he was like, let me go get my nails done. <laughs> it's going to be a close up. My damn nails ain't even done. Mind you, no, no, hold on. Uh, uh, I threw my this. nails done. <laughs> Okay, hold on. You smell good. What you got on? Just, just a little one two, baby. Don't oh, one two. Oh, yeah. A bond, you know. A Avon or, or Bath and Body Works. Avon or bond, Bath and Body Works. Okay. <laughs> the purpose of the gentleman's ball is pretty much it's um uh, it's from uh, uh two guys, a couple named Juan and G, started the Gentleman's Foundation, and pretty much the Gentleman's Foundation implements programs to help Black gay youth and to help build and um, build of our LGBTQ community. Well, hold you know on, what? Hold on, hold on. Ooh, move the, we got to remove the pins, honey. Don't forget that tip. So are you going to the Gentleman's Ball this year? I might. I actually, believe it or not, I've never been to the Gentleman's Ball. Really? My first Gentleman's Ball was seven years ago when they first started. Um, so yeah, I went to the first gen Gentleman's Ball and it was at the Freight Depot. Um, and it was just real simple, clean. They had SWV. They had a nice sit down dinner type of situation. Um, it was not, it was nice. Never have. 
and I'm gonna keep it a, a, a completely 100 with you because I'm a very upfront person. My relationship with Juan and G has not always been the best. We've we've been very good friends at one point in time, but we just reconciled our relationship. Oop, oop. We just reconciled our relationship. Ooh, what well, CEOs of the Gentleman's Bar asked me to do their suits, which is Juan and G. I said sure. It, you need some practice, okay? Clearly. Look, look, yeah. look at my lining, though. Like, your lining was straight. Huh? Uh, yeah. Yours is a little crooked, so that means you're a lot more gayer than me. Okay? <laughs> so, okay. So, what I'm doing now... So I'm, I've been doing this for years. Um, yeah, but still, though. So, what I'm doing is pressing it out. Because, like, if you have any buckling from the needle... Mm -hmm. And what I do, I typically like to sew on with a, a 12 to 14 needle, which is a smaller gauge so it won't it will cause less buckling but honey it's you got to be able to finesse this seam honey and so once you got it done you want to lie your seam flat you still got to do this part though you still got to oh, sew this part well right? that's well you're jumping the gun honey don't rush it okay. take your time that's what you do rush it you, that's what you do, rush it. Okay, so now you want to. <laughs> okay, now make me question a lot of things. Um, so now you want to lie your seam flat and see what I did. I'm lying, making sure the seam is flat in the inside and press it out. That good steam is how you stay, how it stays so young. And then you also want to turn it over. Oh, this is where I started. Anyway. Yeah, you can see. But it, like I said, it's practice makes perfect. It don't look that damn I, I would not be wearing this out in public, but I just redo it. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not, it's not bad at all. It's my first time. Yeah, it's your first time. You, know, you remember your first time, though. I, I, uh, yes, I do. <laughs> mm -hmm, I do. And so pretty much now to finish it up, you're going to lay it down. And... You know how to thread a needle? No, I don't. Ooh, wow. Don't know how to thread okay, so, so what we're gonna do? He's about to use the teeth. I was gonna use the teeth because I forgot. Yeah, you know, I'm not at fine. home. You know, because I'd be like, Ooh. um. So you, you put. You gotta it. find the hole, right? Yeah, that's not a problem for me. That's not what I heard. It's not, it's not a problem for me. You want to figure it find out? <laughs> it's not a problem. You know, bueno. <laughs> it's not a problem. <laughs> Not a problem at all. So we're going to knot it. Damn, you did that real quick. Mm -hmm. how you, wait, how did you do that? Because I know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't. You're trying okay. to teach me, right? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, so Shots you said. Shots have been fired. Shots have been fired. No, well, I'm, I'm sorry that you couldn't, uh, you couldn't do Boy Scouts or none of that stuff when you was little. But it's just right. simply time. Playing football you was just trying to not. You just trying to not. You just take it through. Just tweak it and twist it. Like and regularly tie a knot, okay. Yeah, to tie a knot, and then you want to snip the excess. Mm -hmm. And and a whip stitch is just like a whipping over, over, oh, and like it's a... like surgeons do it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Now you just want to... So you're saying you can be a surgeon? I pretty, pretty much I probably could. But I'm going to be honest, I really wanted to be a forensic scientist when I was little. I thought you wanted to be an engineer. Which one was it? Well, you know, so it's a long story about me and schooling. Because I, I, once I got to school, I was like, what major is going to make me the most money? <laughs> and I was, when I think about loving nothing and all that good stuff, and they was like, engineering, I was like, sign me up. Because I knew I was good at math. Yeah, I'm good at math. And, um, Believe it or not, that's actually one of my favorite subjects. Yeah. And, and the crazy thing is that I love English, too. I, most, people who, most people who... I'm one of those persons. Yes, people. A per yeah, they see. See. Yeah, I'm... Um, I, baby, I can count money, and every, I can equation you down. But when equate. it comes, to, yeah, equate you down. See, there you go. But when it comes to that, that um, you know, the spelling and arithmetic and all that good stuff. And see, pretty much you're whipping it. Uh, and see, I'm left-handed, so you will be going the opposite way and ripping it all I'm around. I'm ambidextrous. Oh. <laughs> that means you can use both ligaments, left and right. I do know that, okay. I'm just I do making know that. sure, you know, you said you weren't good with English. Mm -hmm. I had to bring it back home for you. Well, but I got it. You but see what, two, what, what happens when you put two punks on the stage? <laughs> I'm not a punk, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a homosexual, honey. I, I throw them things. <laughs> so, I don't so, I'm too punk. Um, so, 
now, and here's the jacket. It's such a better fit. So you think about going to Gentleman's Mall this year? Yeah, I think I'm thinking about it. I'm, I'm definitely going to support them. Okay, I so you're going to be ready at um, 8 o'clock. Are, are you going to do my... I said, are you going to be ready at 8 o'clock? Why would I not be ready at 8 o'clock? He ain't getting it. You're going to be ready at 8 o'clock? I am. I'm just kind of evading. You know how, like... Oh, oh. oh. Well, bitch, no. well, you got $1,000? <laughs> I trust. I do. Okay, I'm listen. an engineer. Oh, well, well, that's fine. Isn't that what you want to aspire to be? <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Rico. <laughs> oh, you tried it. <laughs> anyway, be ready. What, what am I wearing? Remember, I'm a little thick with it now. I so know. I, so, I well, you know, we'll get that body magic. We'll get you well, that. Nah, we'll, hold on. We'll get you that. Take my shirt off. We'll get that. Still, pre, we'll get that. Still, ten, ten. We'll, we'll get that. Pre, years ago we'll still. get that prima donna waist center for you with her face all on it. Body, <laughs> body, body goals. We'll get. We'll get that body prima donna. Goals. So, ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, share, and subscribe this video. And thank you for logging on to another episode. Follow you. Tell us follow. Yes, uh, Trader Boss. T R E D A B A. -S. Baby. And he stopped how delicious on that Instagram. I am not. But it's funny though. It's funny. I'm a single so, man now. You know what I'm doing? So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe to this video. Thanks for logging on to another episode of So Like a Pro with Rico. The Gentleman's Ball was absolutely amazing in how it was set up coming down the escalator. You just see a sea of beautiful black gay men. And it was absolutely amazing, the love that was in the building. Um, my highlight of the evening was after the ball, and we was in the, uh, the CEO's room, and Jesse Smullett came in. And I was like, hey, what's going on? And he was like, what's going on, Rico Chappelle? I was like... Bitch, you know me? <laughs> and he was like, who don't know Rico Chappelle? I was like, oh, bitch, Jesse Smollett know me. And so that was like the highlight of my evening. But it was an amazing evening. It was a real amazing evening. I loved it. From beginning to the end.